and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh and I'm doing a review of the year to date. Stock Swoosh Show live trading room. These are all the trades I called in the room this year. If you are a room member for 2019, year to date results for an advanced trader risk. So an advanced trader risk is around $2,000 per trade. Some are a little bit less, some are a little bit more. Uh, but just to give you an idea of how much you would have to risk per trade. And again, in the live trading room, I call the entry, the stop, and the exit, okay? And I usually am looking at one thing at a time. Sometimes I will look at two at the same time, uh, and usually we're doing one ticker symbol a day. Occasionally, which actually Friday was, a, was an unusual day where I see a lot of things are gonna work at the same time, I might do multiple things. But it's really, I think, very easy to follow me because I'm so focused I'm usually doing one thing at a time, which makes it easier to follow me in the room. So if you have any questions and you'd like to join, you can feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com and call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So January is when the next earnings season really begins. We're, we're at the end, really, of this latter part of the earnings season. There's a few earnings out in the next week or so, but most of the big names have already reported. So it's a good time to learn, get prepped, and get ready to go motivated for January 2020. And that's why I'm doing the class next weekend. It will be the last class for 2019, December 14th and 15th, so people can learn and then get ready, prepare themselves, open up a trading account then by the end of December and start trading in January. Gosh, it seems like so long ago. This year just flew by. These are all the trades back from January in 2019. The year started out very, very bullish, okay? Uh, but despite that fact, we did lots of shorts, okay? There was most of the trades that I do in the day trade room are shorts. Although I will tell you that we went long the market, like the cues, we went long the market a lot in 2019. Uh, we just went along the market on Friday, actually. market was very bullish. But usually, I am looking at focusing on shorts in the day trading room. Then this was into February. Some days you'll see here there's no trades. I just followed my system. It's a 26-point rating system. If I don't have anything that meets my criteria, I won't trade that day. And that's pretty much what I do. I sometimes will do a retake, like this carb, where the, if the first trade fails, then I'll take a second setup in it. I don't do that all the time. I have to have conviction it's gonna work out. Sometimes I do do that though. Anyways, again, January, February is very bullish. My system to short, my 26 point rating system works even in a bullish market. Uh, DPZ was a really, really good short on the 21st. And so was WTW, HPQ, this was into the end of February. Then March started off. There was a couple real big ticker symbols this year, and actually Target was one of them that just stand out. Target, Disney, uh, there was just some huge trades for the day trade room and the options letter this year, and actually the market too, that really, really stand out um, as big winners this year for pretty much anyone that did them, whether you're in the trading room or the options letter. And for those of you that have asked me about the options trades, I do not call options trades in the live room. The live trading room, these are all equity trades. Okay, this is day trading, active day trading, equity trades. So you must take the Golden Gap course to join the live room, but I'm calling the trades live in the room. Live time, we start about 9.30. Uh, the room opens at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And there is a prerequisite where you must take the class and learn the method in order to join the room. Although I do offer one-week trials. Facebook was one that I didn't do that much with this year, looking back. Again, some, some really nice movers this year. Nike was another one. Lulu, Len. Again, the market. So many trades this year in the market. Disney was a big one this year. Uh, just some huge moves in Disney, and, and they were bullish, quite frankly, like I was talking about. This was April then of 2019. This was earnings season. Twitter was a big winner. Apple, huge winner there on the 17th. XLNX was a really, really nice guy. Uh, no trades on the 29th, and the month of May started off very bullish. We did Apple. That was a long, uh, then again, started into the earnings season before the summer period. 
uh, Spy, two trades in that on the 7th. DDD was a nice winner. May was a really strong month, actually. A lot of winners in May. Very few losers in May at all. Uh, May was a very, very good month, uh, day trading. Just huge day on the 22nd. Everything worked. And some days when I see that everything will work, like I said, like this past Friday, we'll just do them all. I mean, you just do, do everything you can, um, depending on how much risk you can, you can take with your account. Um, then getting into June, again, there's gaps in between the earnings season. There is still gaps. There's news gaps. There's gaps with the market. There's sector gaps. There's gaps for all kinds of reasons. I will look at a gap to better what the reason is. Just so happens that earnings season is a busier, busier time because there's more gaps in earnings season, more things to trade, more things to look at. Stocks have bigger moves in earnings season. But there are plenty of gaps in between the seasons. BBBY was a winner on the 11th. Always love to do that one. DPZ was a great gap. Goldman. And again, this was in July. Then earnings season started to ramp up. Netflix, Starbucks, Tesla, UAA. T2 was a winner on the 31st. BYND was another one of those notable stocks this year that had massive moves. Um, it was a new issue. Big moves. Uh, huge, huge trades in the options letter for the BYND and even some of the day trades. Really nice stock to trade if you've never traded it. It really moves. If you can get that in the right direction, shoot, that moves so big. Uh, August 20th was HD. It was a couple times this year. Target again. Another big one in Target. Foot Locker, another notable winner for this year for the room. Ulta as well. And then September started out. Um, again, was off the beginning of September. Then sometimes we'll kill something, like where you see the break-evens. It's unusual that I'll do that, but sometimes I'll kill something if I think it's not working right or time of the day or something the market's doing that's rare. Rare, usually I'll let something play out, but I will do that. FDX was a nice winner there. Again, this is into the end of September. Beginning of October, HPQ was a winner there on the 4th. Adobe. Two, needed two takes that was on the 16th w day was another big winner in the last i'd say two months just beautiful trades in that j and j ups worked mcdonald's mcdonald's was a huge huge winner all around options day trades that was a beautiful bearish gap mcdonald's has continued lower mcdonald's was just a great great guy uh twitter was a big winner on the 24th uh then this was into the end of october really busy day there on the 29th 30th was Yum, pulled that one out. Three when the Yum. Um, McDonald's again on the 4th. Uber didn't work out right. Shake Shack took two tries. CVS was a nice winner. EXBE, the market again. Disney. A lot of these stocks, you know the names. Big winner in Disney on the 13th. Again, you know these stocks. You are familiar with these names. All the things that we trade, you, you know the companies, okay? Low float stocks, cheap stocks, penny stocks, dollar, two dollar, three dollar stocks. We don't do any of that crap. It's crap, crap, crap. We trade stocks that move. Cisco, AMAT, things you know, Lowe's. Um, you know, so things, companies you would know are the things that we watch. Macy's was a good one. HD again on the 19th. Foot Locker again on the 22nd. And then we started out in December. So beginning of December has been strong, okay? It was off in the second. Spy didn't work in the third. W Day was a big winner in the fourth. Etsy lost on the fifth, but then HD was a really nice winner. And Friday was a huge day. Three bullish gaps, Apple, Spy, Qs, looking to take it into the next week this week, and we'll really see where the market goes. So an advanced trader risk is anywhere between 2,000 2,500. I'm saying that because some of the trade risk was around 2,100. Uh, but again, you risk what you can afford. You know, we're look, usually looking at one risk unit per trade as far as the profit. So if you risk 500, your goal is to make 500. If you're at 450 and it's at the target, you get out. And I call to get out, you get out. So this is an this is an average. Okay, this is not an exact science, but you're you're typically your expectation should be one risk unit per trade. And there are many trades that are more than that. McDonald's, the market, there were plenty that were more than that. Apple, even on Friday. But, you know, I, I say you've got to look at the target. Sometimes with the stock, it depends the risk unit. If the stock's small, it could be a big trade. If the stock's larger, just because that it's what it happens to be, then you got to go with it. So think about if you want a day trade to earn number one extra money, part-time job, or if you want to really trade full-time. You have to be serious about this, though, if you want to make money in the market. 
when I say be serious, that doesn't mean you have to devote your whole life to this, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, or even five days a week between 9.30 and 4 when the market's open. Being serious is taking it seriously, not trading stupid trades, not trading stupid risks, getting your head on right, learning a strategy that works, being consistent with your money management. You have to be smart about it. Paying someone to learn a good strategy, you're paying someone to get their trade calls, someone that knows what they're doing like me. So a lot of people trade the market, risk money, and they're not serious. They, they, they say that they are because they're risking money and they think that makes them serious, but it doesn't. Being serious about it means you have a plan of action that is going to lead you to success. And when you're risking money in the market without any strategy at all, that's not gonna lead you to success. And if you're losing money in the market and you're failing, and, or if you're following someone that doesn't know what the heck they're doing is calling terrible trades, you need to stop following that person and start following a person that knows what they're doing, that calls good trades. And if you're not willing to pay someone that, that calls good trade calls like I do, then you're not serious about it unless you can figure out your own system yourself and you know what to do. And most people don't. I credit myself for taking the time and energy and years of my life to develop the system that I've developed which is called the Golden Gap 26 point rating system. It took me three years to figure it out. I worked full time while I did it and traded. I traded my system live while I was figuring out the points, which is one of the reasons it works so well. And I also never did it to teach anyone. I did it for myself. And that's another reason why the system is so great because I never had the idea or the purpose or thought to ever teach anyone what I know. But as it turns out, my friends encouraged me to start a business after I was really doing very well after I started figuring things out, and here I am. So I've had the stock swoosh since 2012, and I started trading in 2008, and now it's almost 2020. So it's been quite, quite a ride here. So if you're interested, you can learn what I know in a class that I teach once a month. The class is called the Golden Gap Course. The last class for this year is next weekend, December 14th and 15th. Cost of the class is $64.99, class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Email me at melissathestockswish.com if you wanna sign up. I would not wait to the last minute. The class is already starting to get full. Um, again, this is the last class of the year. If you wanna start trading, then come January 1. Now, if you wanna do the combo, it's $69.99. For the Golden Gap course, the combo is the Golden Gap and the Trends course. You save $500 if you sign up for both. This class is December 17th. It's $69.99 for both. Class is noon uh, to three. It's online. Don't miss this, okay? Now the options newsletter, again, is separate. Separate from the class, but there's no prerequisites for this. I do not call the same trades. All the trades that I just went over here now are completely different trades than the ones I called on the letter, just so you know. So if you wanna do options, sign up for the options newsletter. You don't have to do the class to sign up for this letter. There's no prerequisites. You must do the class in order to sign up for the training room. But you will get my daily market analysis. You will get my analysis live on any stocks we would do in the options letter. It's just good to be in the room. It helps you. I'm calling it live. I'm seeing the market live. It's really beneficial, I think, to be in the room. But if you don't have the time to be in the room or day trade, the options newsletter is something that you want to consider. I only have an annual subscription. There are no trials, and I don't have a monthly subscription, okay? Email me if you have any questions. Email me if you want to sign up. Email me if you want to know anything at all. Um, and hopefully everyone will have a wonderful, wonderful, strong close to the end of 2019. Good luck. If you're interested, email me, Melissa, at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone.